Yes, Nicholas back tonight. Tonight we're going back in time for the last time for a while to Ubuntu 410 Warty Warthog back in the day. Blimey. So under accessories, we've got sort of the usual really, nothing's much too changed really, is it really when you think about it. You still get image viewer and you still get GIMP and Xane. So I'll open up Gimpy. So Gimpy starts opening up, look <coughs> excuse me. A bit of a cough coming. The GIMP 2.0. Blimey. We're going back now. Now this came out before I was full-time Linux. It wasn't long after I went full-time. But this is what it used to be like. Well different. And even worse colour of brown as well. Why I ever chose brown, I'll never know, but hey. I'm just not a brown person myself. Anyway, back to applications. Give me white to one. Back to applications, graphics, we've done that really. Internet. Right. You get evolution mail. You get game for instant messaging. No meeting. Peer peer thing, that sort of thing, whatever. Firefox was there, we'll come back to that later. A terminal server client and XChat. Multimedia, we have a CD player and we also have a music player. Yes, a music player. Guess what it is? Yes, it's an early version of the Rhythm Box. And it doesn't actually look too much different to it does now, really. So they really need to get a good update, I think, really, end of the day. So we'll open it up, see what I mean. It's not actually changed too much, really, is it? Not changed too much at all. I mean, by the time I started using Linux full time, we had a lot more support. So, different for me, different for you, you know what I'm saying? So, next we go back down to multimedia again. Okay, so apart from the books, we've got a sound juicer, still there, still going. Sound recorder, still in your distro. Totem, still in your distro. And a volume control, don't forget that. We'll open it up. Now we get OSS and ELSA here. I mean, ELSA is quite new here, I think, as far as I remember. But don't quote me on that particular one, as we say. Okay, applications again. <clears throat> Office. We have Open Office. Now, this is a very new in the day, or reasonably new anyway. So, I'll open it up. Look, 5521 Open Office 1.1. Remember, this is a 19. No, it wasn't. It was 2004. I'm not saying 1994. 2004. So, that's quite a few years ago now. So, we'll go down a bit look, about Open Office. It's 1.1, but well, it's actually 1.1.2. Copyright 2004 from Sun, who no longer really exists, do they? We won't go on about that one, though, will we? No. So, shall we see what sort of formats it's saved to back in the day on this particular edition here that I'm using? Because this is a web writer -y thing, but it should have all the formats here already anyway. So, you get HTML, you get OpenOffice, you get Star Writer, which it still supports, and text encoding and stuff. But that's all. You didn't actually, you couldn't actually do your uh, window stuff here or your Word stuff. Which has come along now, isn't it? When you think about it, we can do all that. So that's pretty cool. And all the other stuff is already there. System tools, but report of a floppy format. <laughs> they still sell millions of them, though, don't they? Network tools. It's still the same basic tool that we have now. Nothing much has changed in that respect, except they just updated the app every time we go along. Nice and cool, super duper. We do remember it's Debian based anyway. So you've got login root terminals there, login to different user, system look, system monitor we're going to have a quick look at. As you can see, it's only seen one of my CPUs for some reason. It's only using 80 mega RAM. Blimey. But that was a lot back in the day. That was an awful lot of RAM. Still, still is on some systems if it's really old. So anyway, system tools again. Not much there for you to see really is it anymore. No, not really. We've got your computer, home, desktop, disk, network, search for file, desktop preferences. You get the same sort of stuff you still get now. You know, they have kept to the base really when you think about it. So that's quite nice. Doesn't it look really different though? And the brown is so brown, it's unbelievably browny. Browny is like, not like chocolate brown, is it? It's like baby brown. Oh, say no more. Only free wallpapers as well. Go to my computer again. System configuration. Device manager, login screen, networking, printing, as you would have. I'm not sure how many printers are supported back in the day, but there weren't too many then. This is as high as I could get my screen resolution. This is why the screen is quite stretched. I can't get the full resolution, but I ain't too worried because I'm just showing you what it used to be like back in the day, olden days when you were still at school. Synaptic, it does work, but you can't download anything. But uh, there will be a way somewhere will tell me how to do that, but I'm not really too worried. Right, let's open up the Fox. <clears throat> it goes straight to the Ubuntu homepage, Ubuntu Linux 410, Warty Warthog release. 
the usual sort of stuff, bloody, bloody, blah. I mean, this back in the day must have been like, well, should we do this? Can we do this? And yes, they've done it in the end of the day, haven't they? They have really done it. It's now the most popular destroy out there. Some people hate it, some people love it. Does what it says on the tin now, it most, most of the time. I won't say all of the time, most of the time. When I first started using it full time, Sam was a bit of a bugger, but not so bad now. Now this is where we have the problems with the old Firefox. You go to click on something else, and it just freezes its bum off really, which really got my breasticles, but what do I expect? It's like, no, uh, 2004, so that's uh, old really, isn't it? It's seven, eight years coming up. I mean, they've been developing it for ages, so I've had to force to quit to get out of it. But yeah, we've got the evolution group where there, and we've got a bit of help. Which you, you, do you still get there? I can't remember now. I've got to use it, I don't really you know, look at it too much. Sometimes it does what it says on the tin. But yeah, that's what Walty Warthog used to look like. Another retro moment from me, Sneaky Linux. No more retros for a couple of months now. I've had enough now, I've gone bored. But yeah, that's what it used to look like. Super duper. Sneaky Linux going out. So there.